Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. For today's video, I thought we would just do a simple get ready with me. I'm gonna use some new to me products mixed in with some of my old favorites that I am trying to use up. So if you're curious to see what products I used to create this look, keep watching. I thought for today's video, we would just play with some new makeup. I have a few items that I haven't ever used on the channel before, so I thought let's go ahead and just incorporate them into one video. Do it just a simple get ready with me and use some of these new products. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face. I'm gonna use my Sicily Double Tinsure, not new. <laughs> you guys know it's not new. Um, it is my favorite, but I'm almost out. Um, I only probably have a couple days left of it. And so I thought, well, let's just go ahead and get it finished because I do have a backup. And you know, my goal of 2022 is to use my makeup, use my skincare. So I want to go ahead and get this finished. So we'll just go ahead and use that today. For foundation, I have a new to me foundation. This was gifted. Um, I was not required to do a video, post on Instagram, anything like that. Just, um, but it was gifted. So I wanted to let you guys know. It is from the brand EXA. I had never heard of this brand until I received this. It is a clean beauty brand. It's fairly new. It was launched in August of 2020. They only have a few products right now. Um, I've tried the primer and the foundation. Of the two, I definitely prefer the foundation. The primer was just okay for me. Um, the shade I have is 400 Lydia. Now, like I said, this is a clean beauty brand. It is sold on their website. also sold at Credo Beauty. It's sold at Ulta. They have it at Colt Beauty. So it is at a few retailers. High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation. So I received this. I used it. I really, really liked it. I honestly was not expecting to like it. Clean Beauty, especially when it comes to foundations, isn't something that I typically wear. They tend not to last as long. And I really, <laughs> I wear my makeup for a long time. I am usually in it a good 15 hours. I think 15 hours is an average of when I have my makeup on every day. Um, so I like a foundation that's gonna last, a, you know, a good amount of time. I find that with Clean Beauty that you typically don't last as long. However, I was pleasantly surprised with this foundation. I thought I would come on and show you guys the finish, how it wears, and what it looks like. Um, I, I'm impressed. So I'm going to squeeze two pumps out into the back of my hand. I'm going to take my BK Beauty 101 to apply it. I was gifted a few different shades. However, this is the shade that I think works best right now with my skin tone in. I actually think it's a really good match. There is a slight fragrance. Um, it goes away fairly quickly and it's not something that's bothersome, but I did want to let you know that there is a fragrance. It almost smells, I mean, it just smells clean. It's not, um, I don't think that it is scented. I think it's just the smell of the ingredients. This is what two pumps looks like. I would say that that is light to medium. I will go in with another pump. It is buildable and I did about a half a pump on the back of my hand. So I will build up my cheeks. I do think it has a really nice finish. They have a really nice shade range. I believe they have 43 shades, which is really good especially for a new brand launching a new products i think 43 is really really good i do not have a new concealer so i'm going to use an old one this is the dior forever correct and this is in shade 3.5 n i finally have a little bit of color on my face so i am able to pull out my summer shades this is a shade that i definitely can't wear in the winter but it is such a beautiful concealer i do need to pick this up in a lighter shade so that i can wear it year round because it is really good next i'm going to open up the Chantecai next generation eye base and i have shade medium i have used this product before i absolutely love it it is my favorite one of my it is one of my favorite eye primers. It's just so, so good. 
So that's what it looks like fresh out of the box. I just swipe it onto the eye and then blend. It's so easy and I really, really like it. So I did pick these up during the Chantecai sale and this is actually the only thing that I picked up. There is so much new makeup coming that I just, I didn't want to go crazy and I have so much Chantecai. It really, it's not like I needed anything, um, except for I, I definitely needed this <laughs> eye primer. <laughs> um, I love it and I was out. But Chantecai Fall is coming out and it is gorgeous. It's so pretty. I absolutely love it and I will pick up the whole set. Uh, Chanel Fall is coming with a new quad as well as a whole bunch of nude lipsticks and I'm very very interested in picking those up as well as the Chanel tweeds which I'm very interested in um, so there's just a lot of new fall releases coming and so I'm just saving for those for powder I'm just going in with my Sicily loose powder I even had to take the lid off so that I could get the powder I'm literally almost done with this as well and I do have a backup <laughs> um, I can't go without this powder it's so good but I do want to finish it and that is a goal of mine but I do want to show you the foundation after it's been powdered I still think it looks really really good I like I said I've been really pleasantly impressed with this new foundation I've worn it a lot and every time I'm really impressed. I don't have a new bronzer. So what I'm doing is just pulling out my Gucci. This is an old bronzer and I I just don't reach for it that much anymore because I've gotten so many other bronzers in, but this is a beautiful bronzer and it, I just, I don't reach for it and I really should. I am using shade three. I also have shade two but I think I prefer shade three more. For blush, I have a new Suku blush. So this is the Melting Powder blush, and this is one of the permanent ones, and I have shade number two. I think I have like four or five of these now. They are phenomenal. They are just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful formula. This is what shade number two looks like. I saw Mickey Carr use this and it looked gorgeous. So I was like, okay, I have to get it. <laughs> I already have, I don't know, I have a lot, but I just love the formula. That is really, really pretty. It's kind of like a pink mauve. I would say it's more pink, but it is so pretty. And these apply I mean, they just, they really do just melt into your skin. They just, that is shade number two. I really, really like it. For highlighter today, I'm gonna use the new Pat McGrath shade, and this is in shade Lunar Allure. Now, the last time I did my Pat McGrath video, I used Golden Moonlight, and so this is the other new highlight that I picked up from that collection. Wow, that, I mean, the pickup of those is crazy. So that is really, and it's light, so I didn't want a lot. And I got way more than I thought I would. So I'm gonna apply it. I mean, it's, it is bright. And I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G Smooth Buffer to kind of buff that down and buff it in. Her highlights are just so pretty but they are strong. So to kind of even that out, I'm just gonna take my blush brush and just go back over it. It kind of tones it down and makes it not so bright. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna use a palette that I have used and I've used it on Instagram. I just don't think I've ever filmed a video with it. And this is, this is a Wayne Goss palette and I believe the name is Tourmaline. I could be totally butchering that name. But this came out a little while ago. It's not his most recent. I did pick it up when I picked up his most recent, but 
this is not the most recent, but I love this color story. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush, and this is the BK Beauty 201. And I'm going to go to the brown. We're going to put that in the crease. I'm using one of the biggest blending brushes that I have so that the shade is really diffused and I don't I don't want it super pigmented I guess is what I'm trying to say but this is I mean I really 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 like this palette and his formulas are great I think this is I now have three of his eyeshadows I'm gonna take a mini booster and I'm going to go into the deepest plum. And we're going to place that on the outer corner. So while purple is not my favorite color for eyeshadow, plum I can work with. And now I'm going in with this shade down here, shade number five. And I'm also going to place it on the outer corner. And we're going to mix those two shades to build up the outer corner. And I will blend with a, a blending brush in a little bit. So I'm going to take that BK Beauty 201. I'm going to go into that brown, very lightly touch it and then go into the crease and blend. I'm going to go into shade number two and we're going to place that on the lower lid. To apply that I'm using a Sonia G soft shader. Now again, after I apply this, I will go in and blend out and diffuse that outer corner. I'll go back with my Sony G Mini Booster and I'll just mix those two plums. So it's a lot of layering. A lot of layering, a lot of blending. I'm going to take that BK Beauty 201 and blend. Okay, BK Booty 207 and go into shade number one, which is a light pink. And we're going to take that underneath the brow. I'm also going to take that in the inner corner. Now he does have a celestial topper shade. I'm not even going to touch it. <laughs> I've tried. I've used his others. It's not his formula, it's, it's just my personal preference. I'm going to take a Sony G Soft Definer and go into this brown, and we're going to go underneath my eye. I'm going to go off camera and line my eyes. For eyeliner, I have the Sicily Fido, uh, Fido Coal Star Waterproof in shade number two and it is a deep brown. So I'll line my eyes real fast off camera and then we'll be back to finish up the look. Eyeliner is on and now we're gonna use a new to me mascara. This is the Bite Upswing Mascara. This is probably not available anymore, um, but I did pick it up while it was on sale. Bite Beauty is going out of business, so I'm not sure if it's still available. If I can find it, I will link it. Um, but here's the wand, it's definitely a little bit different. I hear really, really good things about this mascara, so I am very excited to give this a try. I'm hoping I don't just absolutely love it because it is probably not going to be available. Okay, I really do like it, um, but this is my easy eye, so let's try the other eye um, and see what happens. For whatever reason, my left eye lately, the eyelashes have just been not, yeah, they're still not working. Yeah, I don't know what it is. 
It doesn't matter what mascara I use, my left eyelashes are not cooperating. All right, I do really like that mascara. <laughs> um, it is really good. So if you can find it, I definitely say at least try it at least once while you can get it. Um, yeah, I like it. Ignore my left side. It's, it is being finicky. All right, for lips, I'm gonna try a new lip gloss that I got. This was a little gift with purchase that I got from Pat McGrath Labs. I don't know what shade this is. There is a little tag, but it is so tiny. Like I can't even begin to tell you, but I'm going to try that. We're just going to use a gloss. I will line my lips. I have the Chanel 162 nude brune. Definitely not new, but one of my favorites for sure. I was thinking it would be something I applied with the heart. It's not, there's actually an applicator in here. A little difficult to apply because it is so small. Whatever the shade is, I really like it. So there is the full face of some new to me makeup. What do you guys think? I cannot tell you enough how much I love this eyeshadow palette. It is so, so, so pretty. It is definitely one of my favorites from Wayne Goss and I'm so glad I picked it up. I'm really loving it. Like I said before, the foundation is fabulous. I'm really, really impressed with it. I highly recommend it. And if you're looking for a foundation that's gonna last a little bit longer than some of the others, I highly recommend this one. I think it's really, really good. The mascara was also really good. You guys, I'm <laughs> I'm kicking myself. I didn't try it sooner, um, but I will definitely enjoy it while I have it. I would love to hear from you what you guys think. Did you see anything here that you wanna try? Um, or are there anything that I use today that you also love? Let me know down below. I would love to hear. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and I will see you guys in my next video.